Hola chicos, ¿cómo están? Hello. Okay guys, I'm so excited to watch this episode. It's gonna be a big centric episode, which I'm very excited about. I'm here with my friend's t-shirt because if you didn't know the friend's reunion came out and I watched it and I was laughing the entire time and if you don't care about this, whatever, but if you haven't watched it, go watch it because it was so, so good and I loved it. But anyway, also we're gonna have the promo for last, for the last episode, guys, for the Marina wedding. I know that it's probably gonna be about the wedding, the promo, because... I mean, what else is gonna be about, right? <laughs> so I'm very excited to watch the promo as well. I'm gonna freak out, so stay with me. And I just wanna get done with this episode and watch it. It's a big centric, and I'm very excited to see it. So let's go for it. Let's do it. I would have to call Sebastian back and allow him to take me out on a date. No, why don't you call <laughs> Sebastian? Can you call Emmett? I wouldn't trim it. You good? You look good in that uniform. <laughs> I still got it. <laughs> I love their friendship so freaking much. Girl. I love Travis she and Beck. Do you know one of the first forms of policing in this country grew from local slave patrols? Yeah, like angry white guys using violence and intimidation to prevent enslaved people from escaping. Yeah. All right. I actually didn't know that. Yes. But it is good that you know that now, too. Um, you know, Gibson, yeah. can you help me with these? <laughs> the protests are usually peaceful until the police arrive and then they escalate. And it says the medical tents start filling up later in the day. Yeah, I've seen people get... That's what always gas, happens in protests. Up and falls and even... Did you know the 13th Amendment abolished slavery except as punishment for a crime? Like, black people would get arrested, right? On, like, trumped-up charges. He's like, so of course we know this. convicted and then used for free labor. Also, yes... Nice. People are finally starting to talk about it. I just hope it's not temporary. That it's not, you know, people just studying for like a test. That they're actually like internalizing these concepts and they're, they're really trying to push. Ben, can you turn the volume down, please? Thank you. Oh, Vic. Nice shirts. Got one for you too, Captain. But we will have to wear them underneath our SF t shirts tomorrow. We are running this medic tent in an official capacity. Provide hey, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Are we just not going to talk about the fact that you're engaged? Yeah. Yeah. Yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God. I love it. Trust. Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> Nothing like getting engaged and then sending your fiance into the COVID hotspot two days later. Wait, she still has to go? Yeah, but only for uh, a month now, just until the marriage visa. Congrats, Cap. Sorry we missed it. So hey, she's going to come back in a month. Right? Please say, please, come on. Please say we're doing a lesbian firehouse wedding. I we can barely know. get Karina to agree to marriage. I doubt there will be a wedding, but there will definitely be a registry. Of course there's gonna be a wedding, guys. Of course there's gonna be a wedding. Shut up. I'm just so excited. I'm just so excited how they are gonna make the wedding. And they still gonna make the wedding. And I'm excited to see how they are gonna do it. And I'm just so happy that they're all happy about it. Okay, whatever, just keep going. <laughs> But how does a marriage visa work? Like they had to get married before for the visa to be like done or they can get married after the visa starts getting done. I don't know if you know the ins and outs, the ins and outs of, uh, oh my God, I keep saying it wrong. The ins and outs of this, let me know because I don't get why she has to wait a month if they haven't gotten married or it's like they give her a, a time and she has to get married when she comes back. I have no idea. Let me know. Just checking in, how are you holding up? Left by holding up, you mean stuffing my face with cookies every chance I get to avoid thinking about the fact that Karina is heading into the belly of the COVID beast and that the, the immigration cookies. system is as broken as the justice system, then I am holding up incredibly well. <laughs> Her face! What did she say? Okay, I'm gonna... What did she say? I laughed too loud. holding up incredibly well. What kind of cookies? What kind of cookies? Okay, wait... <laughs> Okay, someone has been telling me that they think that Andy might be pregnant because she's eating so much. And right, she's eating a lot. Is she pregnant? Are we getting a Sorora baby? Are we? I need this. I need it. Okay, I need a baby. I need a wedding. Why do I want these things? Very normal things. But you know, I like babies. I'm sorry, I like babies. So I want them to have a baby and I, I hope she's pregnant. Like, I know that maybe it was like, maybe it's too fast. I don't know what you guys think, but I would love to have a Sorara baby. So like, 
I don't know what you guys think, but I would like to see it. Okay, let's keep going. And now you've decided to learn French cuisine. Okay, Belgian. But I guess we don't. What's up? <laughs> I've spent all weekend thinking about what's up. I just want two seconds to not think about that. I just want to think about shellfish. This I mean, I thing, get it. Right? This you is what we do. Get... You take to say to your friends, text me when you get home. You know, just so you know all your people were good. And, you know, you know they made it home safe and sound, right? Yeah. That's like sacred friend stuff. That's like humans evolving beyond beast stuff. That is consideration and buddy love even when you're too drunk to walk straight. Brianna Taylor was home. And she could have texted her best friend home, XO, and then that friend would have gone to bed thinking, great, everyone's home safe and sound. And then she was killed in the middle of the night in her home, in her pajamas. I'm sorry. I just, I just don't want to think about it, you know? Yeah. Just one day, Travis. Tomorrow I will pick it all back up again, I promise. But today I just want to put my feelings in the freezer because I'm spent. And I just need one day. I'm exhausted. You need a day off the feelings. I get that. It's and I just, I need a day. Yeah. What, what are you thinking right now? Poor thing. And now her parents think he's gonna burn. Most She's not gonna get a day no off. A fucking freaking day off, guys. She's not gonna get it. And I don't one. like it. It's insistent I like you. Isn't that? Yeah. Just wanted one day. One day, exactly. Just one day. And now this happens. Travis, this restaurant is their whole life. This restaurant is like my crappy older sister who they love more than me for. My crappy older sister. <laughs> I love that. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna save your crappy older yeah. sister. Yeah. Yeah. I know they're gonna save it, so. Because it's in the spoiler, so. <laughs> I like it when we get to fight fires together. Oh, babies. I love it. But I'm scared because if she's pregnant, like, I don't want her exposed to, like, smoke because I don't know if that's good. I mean, I obviously, I think it's not. Hughes, stand down! Hughes! Oh my god, Finn! Finn's your pants are still inside! Where are Gibson Recon in the building? The gas line is in the back. Montgomery, go help Hughes. I love my giving orders again. Yes. Oh, Theo is there. Oh. She wasn't gonna leave that. Oh, she, he got her parents out. Oh my god, what is gonna happen? So is Vic and Theo gonna happen or is Vic and Dean gonna happen? What's gonna happen, guys? I'm glad the parents are okay, though. Dean is gonna take care of you guys. I've gotta help my team, all right? My parents are secure in the aid car. Where do you want me? Nowhere. Seriously? You ran into a burning building after I told you to stand down. I get it. It's your parents. That's why I want you to focus on them. Let us focus on the fire, okay? Yeah, that's totally understandable. Hughes, we've got this. It just exploded and she can't help. And I get the frustration. But it's not good that they that she goes in there. We're behind the building. Additional civilians inside. We're obtaining evac now. Oh. What the hell? What the hell? Are you guys on? Side are we on? Okay. Hey! Okay! Whoa! Enough. Is he throwing bricks at them? What the fuck? So those are the guys that started the fire? What is it? Victoria, just tell us the truth. It's the wind. The wind. It's, it's the wind. The wind. The wind is blowing south right now. Right now the wind is blowing south. That is a good sign for your place. Station 19, we're the best. And those guys on the roof. They're performing a vertical ventilation. I love that he's calming that them down. Holes in the roof right now to release all the hot smoke, all the hot gas to save your building. That's something that um, Victoria is particularly good at. Yeah. Okay. Well, I love when that? they explain things. Yes. Okay. He's because doing it makes primary you primary feel search. like okay. Now I get it. I can be a bit more calm. Left inside and how to best save them. And you see that woman right there? She's our captain, and she's calling all the shots and making sure everything and anything is handled. Yeah, everything yeah. that can be done will be done by this team. Right? Yes. Oh, what's that? You got the recipes memorized. No, I didn't. If you have to, you'll remember. We can replace our things, honey. We cannot replace you. Totally. Yeah. And Vic is like, oh god, I can't believe that they worry more about the recipes than their own lives. So I, uh, I get it, but like, no, like you need to live. That's more important. Yeah, we're gonna need more hands in here. Okay, that's not good. Like, couldn't that collapse on them? I'm not liking the looking, like how that looks. 
Who's that? What? Whatever your question is, the answer is fire, and we are working to put it out. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. I love that. She's like, bye-bye. All day long, we watch her people's place. It's a reporter. No comment. No comment. Are they serious? How are they? Shouldn't you be on crowd control or something, man? Oh, that's a D can handle that on their own now. You apparently don't need us anymore. You really, you really doing that right now? When people's lives are on fire, yeah? Well, why aren't you putting it out then? You start it? What'd you say to me, man? Miller, I need uh, you over here. Oh my god, yeah. are you serious? Yeah. Not yeah. controlling the scene because of- Anderson, get your ass to the car, now. Go. Thank you. This jerks, this jerks, like what the hell? Hey, you okay? Yes, you have a question. Yeah, no, it's fine. But you can take them home, just go with them. No, 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 they're insisting on staying here. You know they're gonna try to get back in there after we move out, right? Wait, get back inside, they can't. It's not secure. No, I told them that. You try arguing with a crazy Polish lady who happens to be your mother. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving engine 19 on scene for the overhaul. 23 is staying to overhaul the fire on the corner. I asked him for a couple additional firefighters to assist. Okay. Okay. Montgomery, stay with Hughes. <laughs> I love that. I want their friend to more. Victoria, you know your mom's not gonna go home and get her beauty. Okay, I just think that maybe we should try to just talk. Yes. Um, they're, they, they just don't they're, talk about it. Yeah, they're not listening. I mean, that's... Oh, hey. Oh, no, I got oh, it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Victoria, you don't have to lift this all on your own. Dad, yeah, I said I got it, okay? That would have been a lot easier if you just let me give you a hand. Anthony, would you help me with... What? She's like, I can do it myself. <laughs> Is this a table? Wait, take a second. <laughs> a second for what? Why do we not talk about anything? Why do we not talk about anything ever? How are we just freaking cleaning up our restaurant that was burned down by rioters who hijacked a protest? Because it has to be done, Victoria. I'm really asking. I know you've worked your asses off my entire life and you didn't have time for all that touchy-feely stuff, but really just once for one... Second, can we acknowledge that something awful has happened? No, you know, and all of this was precipitated by the repeated murder of black people by law enforcement, but we're not going to talk about that either, are we? God, that's ridiculous. You know, Breonna Taylor was killed. She was a black female first responder. I'm a black female first responder. In another world, that could have been me. Tiny circumstantial differences, and that could have been me. Do you get that? And news of her death didn't even break until two months after the fact because clearly no one cared about it. And I've spent the last three weeks trying not to feel my feelings. But you know, I haven't been able to sleep through the night since I heard what happened to her. I go to bed with a kitchen knife in my nightstand, which I know is outrageous because a kitchen knife is no match for a bullet, but I need something, just anything, to help me feel safe at night. But of course you wouldn't know that because you haven't, you'd have to have checked in on me even once in the last, I, God, I don't even know how long. But you know what, even if you had checked in on me, I probably would have pretended everything's fine because bizarrely, bizarrely, that's what we do in this family. And I just, I honestly, I just don't, I don't think it's working for me anymore. I am sick. Yeah. And I am sad. You need to talk. And I'm, I'm scared. Yeah. And I don't know how you're not. Damn. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Damn, Barrett. Barrett. Yes. Amazing monologue, guys. Amazing. <laughs> And they're just like, okay, they're keeping, they keep doing, and they like, nothing just happened. And she just delivered that amazing speech to them. And they're like acting like nothing happened. And I hate it. I hate it. I hope they talk. They need to talk. Oh, I'm starving. As soon as we're done cleaning up, I'm going to make a massive pot of chicken tikka masala. You know, it's 3.30 in the morning, right? And since when do you cook Indian food? And is curry really what anyone wants at 3.30 in the okay. morning? Okay, A, it she's was really hungry. Hungry. night for dinner. <laughs> Who cares what time it is when you're so hungry, your stomach growls are drowning out the sirens. She isn't lying, I could hear it. Okay, you were sitting so far away. <laughs> your stomach growls louder than Karina's, which I didn't think was possible. Well, I need a shower. <laughs> okay, oh, we're, just oh, we're just learning. We're just learning Karina so much grumbles very loud, and Andy's grows louder, and I love it. But I think that's because there are two people in there. It's not just Andy. That's why I think he's louder. 
because she's very hungry, okay? So I get it. I think I'm seeing the fact that she could be pregnant because what's the other option of her being so hungry and, and wanting to eat all the time? I don't know. Maybe she says, or anxiety. It could be anxiety too, but like I know I eat a lot when I'm anxious, but like I think it's probably a baby thing. I think it's like a lot of cravings.